What is going on guys? I'm Shadow Shadow here with the next tutorial episode. I am so thrilled to make tutorials now and videos overall. <laughs> and new graphics card, baby. Oh yeah. So, you have voted and today we're gonna do a simple first person camera for especially stadium. And how about you take a look how it looks at the end. Alright, now after that you've seen this, I'm gonna show you how to make it in Stadium. Because as I said already, I recommend to do this in Stadium. For Canyon, Valley and Lagoon it is also able. The problem with that is um, they, those cars have a windshield. They have uh, some glass in front of them and uh, when you add a camera inside of a car, you can see the reflections and it looks pretty ugly on the glass usually. So, we are in stadium. I'm in the competition title pack. You don't need this. You can just go with the usual track mania stuff. But I choose this because I have some replays which have to be open with that. Here we go. Okay. Extended editor. So, now we are here in the uh, media tracker just as always I'm gonna uh, let me change the skin to my personal skin uh, gonna take this there we go all right so this is the usual camera and uh, most of them think her huh, first person is it it like uh, this camera just here? No, it isn't. No, we're gonna delete the camera because we don't need it. We're gonna add our own camera. Dum -da dum. Let's see where is he? It, whatever. There we go. As always, slow down the cam with minus and plus on the numpad, and we're gonna go inside here. So this is the view we want to take. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit for the uh, field of view, you know. And now we're gonna set it, set this car, this replay to the anchor, and we enable the anchor rotation. Now you see, oh, the camera's messed up. That's totally fine. We're just gonna go like this, and now we're gonna put it all to zero. And now we see we are under the car because all the cars, even in Shootmania, all those models have their anchor on the bottom side, on the lowest point, like on the zero point, you know. Then uh, just gonna fly up. You can do this with the um, page up and page down button. I'm gonna go a little bit back, back down into the helmet, zoom out a little bit more in front so we don't collide with the helmet all right and so for now this is exactly what we're gonna do but as you can see it doesn't look too good all right we want it to be smooth we want it to be dynamic so what we're gonna do is first off we're gonna save this and tutorials we're gonna name this tutorial 5 replay there we go and now I'm gonna delete the cam. Oh, you don't have to do it. Oh, hey, look at that. Mania Planet crashed. I hadn't this in a long time. <laughs> it's all part of the tutorial. It's all uncut. <laughs> well, this tutorial won't take as long as the last one. Because this is way simpler. All right, we're back in. I'm gonna load up the competition. So yeah, how's your how's your day going? I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing my videos, doing edits. <laughs> no, not edits, tutorials. All right. By the way, become sponsor of the channel. 
Sell out. Okay. No, this is the wrong photo. We got tutorials. Tutorial 5. There we go. Advanced editor. And it should be all here. Okay. What we're gonna do is there's a little there are two buttons down here. And those buttons are um, for exporting and importing clips. So what is a clip? A clip is a collection of something you have already edited in a replay. So it will save something like the ghost and the camera together in a bundle. But not in a replay. It is a clip and you can import this clip into a different replay. So you can combine two replays together by that. For example, I'm just gonna export this right here. I'm gonna select clip clip. Open. Uh, save. Ah oh, shit, I opened it. But you see now it imported a, a different um it added a different ghost. Okay, export clip. Save it. Thank you. Now we're gonna import it again. Here we go. Now we have this car double time. You see? There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is this is pretty much like a tutorial Danix did, but it's in the re it's the opposite. It's completely opposite, the reverse. Because he uh, clipped the car. Uh, he made the car invisible, which is the anchor. We're gonna do different. Uh, we're gonna set the anchor to the car we wanna see and we're gonna disable the car which is in front of us. For now we're gonna add the target as our second car. There we go. I'm gonna copy this and now you see already the camera is already moving. You know, it's dynamic. The thing is... You can now play around with this, like, pushing it a little bit front, and so it's less strong, more strong, whatever you want. And this is for now how this works. The next thing we're gonna add is uh, we're gonna make the car invisible. And this only is able by making the model invisible. So I got a special model which you can download in the description. Uh, let me search it. Uh, the, the, the unknown. It's called unknown. There we go. And it's invisible. It doesn't even have a shadow. So now we have the car. And we have a basic first person camera. Of course, uh, we're gonna add some some extra effects like camera shake to this, some some uh, non-stop cam shake, uh, which should be, I would say, like this something, something like this, yeah. Should be non-stop. Oh, a little bit more. Some over here, like this. Can also uh, do something like, like this one right here, and make it just a short amount of time. It makes it more dynamic, you know? That's all it that matters. But, 
If you want to be a total pro, you could add some tilt. You could add some tilt to the camera. So you have to go and make some keyframes. Oh, my fault. And by adding this keyframe, oh shit, nope, not like this. By adding this keyframe, we could then, oh, no, tilt, tilt, shit, where was the button for tilt? Oh yeah, you have to do it manually, I guess, because of the, um, um, the settings we did. So we could just go here and put in, oh, okay, it don't work. I thought it would work. Oh wait, that's my fault. <laughs> no, it's, it's this. You have to go here and just put it in there. That's how it works. I really wonder what was the key for this. Oh, there it is. Okay, it still works. You hook down the control key. <laughs> I totally missed this button. Um, totally did some failure here. Uh, we go. Gonna add here a keyframe. There a keyframe. You know. Oh, like this. But you have to go and add a lot of those. You want to make it perfectly. And this is how it works. This is all you have to do. Now you could already render this. Of course, as always, you can add more effects to this. Add some more cam shake, for example. And there you go. This is how you do this cam <laughs> in Mania Planet with actually just two keyframes. You could do it the simplest way with two keyframes. Okay, that's it. As I said, you can download the skin, the invisible skin in the description as well as this replay from this session just to look into it and to understand it better. And yeah. See you on the next episode. I'm gonna choose for the next episode the topic. And yeah, see ya then. Bye bye.